You've heard of hybrids, right? But have you ever wondered what that means? Why do some have plugs? And how do they all work? Well, the Toyota Prius has been around for decades now, so it's not new technology anymore. But do they still have a place when battery electric cars are finally coming down in price and going up in range? Well, let's find out. And remember, if you like this video, please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss an episode. Well, a hybrid electric car can actually mean a few things, but one thing it definitely doesn't mean, and that is pure EV. Any vehicle with only batteries on board is always known as a battery electric vehicle. Hybrid, instead, means there are at least two sources of power. Most commonly petrol and electric, although diesel and electric is possible, but not as popular. In the simplest sense, hybrids are either series or parallel. Okay, firstly, we'll look at series. Well, series means there's no plug socket, so there's no way to get electricity into the vehicle from an outside source, like a renewable energy from your solar panels or the power grid. The only way of adding electrons is to burn some fuel. Power flows in a line from the engine, which works either as a generator to power a motor, or directly drive the wheels through a transmission. In the case of series hybrids, where the engine is purely a generator, and so not connected to the wheels, the engine can actually work in its optimum rev range, which can eliminate it going up and down the rev range when it's not as efficient. The benefits of these type of hybrids are that an electric motor and a small battery can actually power the car at low speeds. Energy gets into the battery from the engine working as a generator or by recovering energy when you're coasting or braking. The other main type of hybrid is called parallel. On one branch, there is an electric powertrain. There's a battery which powers an electric motor, and that drives the wheels through a transmission. On the other branch, you have a fuel-burning engine, which can also power the wheels through the transmission. So the two forms of power are linked through the transmission and can work either independently or together for better performance. Regenerative braking also applies here to create more efficiency. Plus, because there is electric power available, the engines used can often be smaller and more efficient. There's technically one other hybrid that we haven't mentioned yet. That's the 48 volt mild hybrid. This takes the 12 volt system found in every vehicle and provides a little more power. In these systems, the battery can't actually move the car, that job is always done by the engine. Instead, a very small battery supplements the car's power for stop-start shutting down of the engine at lights and in some cars, even at slow speeds under 20 km per hour. There's a motor generator which combines the alternator and starter motor in some cars. Well, some time ago, this form of hybrid was seen as viable, but as governments and regulators move quickly to zero emission transport, it's not a technology with much of a future. And whether a hybrid is series or parallel, they can still be either two-wheel drive or four-wheel drive. In fact, some use the combustion engine to power one axle, while the electric power goes to the other axle, creating the all-wheel drive system. What do you think about hybrids? Would one suit your motoring needs? Or are they a compromise too far when you compare them to new full electric vehicles? Let us know in the comments below.